The second key to happiness is finding someone to love. You know, there's an old saying that says, 99% of your happiness or unhappiness will be determined by whoever you marry. See, I believe personally that there is such a thing as true love. I have a cousin in Ireland, his name is Pat. And uh, he never married uh, up to the point he was 42 years of age. And so every year I keep going to Ireland to visit. In 2010 I did. And somehow or other, the conversation came around to the topic of marriage. And I would say to Pat, well, do you have any notion of getting married? And he would say, I will surprise you one of these days, he would say. And another joke between us was, uh, will I get a tuxedo ready? He says, I'll tell you when the tuxedo needs to be getting ready. I'll give you plenty notice, he would say. So I talked to him about the concept of the law of attraction and how to get a good woman, you know, those types of ideas. In fact, I even sent him an ebook on that topic and I suggested that he, you know, give serious consideration to the thoughts in the book about how to attract this woman. In 2011, I went back to Ireland. Now, I had paid no further attention to the dialogue I had with him in 2010 and he came to the airport to pick me up. And as soon as I got in the car with him, he had this glowing smile. I knew there was something up. And as soon as we got rolling on the road back to his house, he said to me, I have news, he says. News, I said. Yeah, he said, news. I said, well, what's the news? He said, I found this amazing woman. Uh, she's absolutely great. and." Uh, I really, uh, I really like her, I like the time we spent together. I was really excited for him because this was kind of along the lines that he and I had talked about previously. But you just never know how things work out for people in their lives. So in 2012, March 2012 to be exact, I get a phone call. And it's Cousin Pat. And I, Pat says, uh, I, uh, I just got engaged. Well, I about fell off the couch, you know, because Pat's been this eternal bachelor all his life. I never ever anticipated he'd get married. But sure enough, now he says he's getting engaged. He got engaged. So, I did ask him, will I get the tuxedo ready? And he said, yeah, you better get the tuxedo ready. And just then in August of last year, 2012, we had this huge event in Ireland. Pat and Eileen got married, had a great reception, and I could tell by both of them that they were happy, they found happiness, because they found each other to love. And I believe that that's all what is important. You have to find someone to love.